being 16 was awesome. I had a brand new truck, a brand new dirt bike. I was on the high school football team. I had a girlfriend and a good job working construction. I thought I had the world in the palm of my hands. And then after high school, I wanted to be a professional baseball player or I was going to open my own ski and fly shop. I was going to sell skis and snowboards during the winter and fly fishing stuff during the summer and then work my construction job on the side. The possibilities were endless. But then one day, all of my plans changed. My best friend Jeff and I decided to go fishing. On our way home, we missed a corner and rolled the truck end over end four times, both of us being ejected from the vehicle. The kid who actually found us at the scene of the accident thought that I was dead because I had a broken neck, a broken arm, a broken pelvis, 16 fractures in my face, and my head was turned a whole 180 degrees, leaving me with a traumatic brain injury. The doctors just advised my family to pull the plug on my life support machine. But luckily they didn't, and I, I woke up. Three months later I woke up, but life has never been the same. Just because I survived this horrible tragedy doesn't mean everything got better. That just meant I had bigger problems to tackle. I had to relearn how to walk again, only having the full use of one leg. I had to relearn how to talk again when my brain couldn't find the words. And I had to relearn how to eat again when I couldn't even swallow. It was then that I realized I wasn't going to be able to play professional baseball. And I couldn't open my own ski and fly shop. And I couldn't work construction anymore with only one arm. My recovery was slow but I was making progress. and Little by little, I got back to my old self. Because of my family, I was able to graduate high school and I started college. But that's when things began to slow down. I started having a hard time keeping up. I got depressed. I wanted to give up. Having only half a body and half a brain made me feel like half a man. It was then that I realized there are some things you just can't fix. My dreams were gone. I wanted to give up. Maybe you guys have had something similar happen. Maybe you've had a small business fail, or you've had somebody treat you unfairly, or you've lost a loved one, or you're trying to get over an addiction. Tragedy strikes all of us. Goals and opportunities get shattered. Relationships end, and dreams die. It happens to everybody. This is when I learned a valuable lesson. Just because my old dreams were no longer no longer possible, it didn't mean I couldn't form new dreams. I wasn't worried about what could have been. I had to be more interested in setting new goals. So I decided to do a triathlon, and I did it. I decided to move out and get my own house. I did it. I wanted to publish a book about the fight for my life, so I did it. I decided I wanted to be a motivational speaker, so I joined TEDx Talks, Idaho Falls. <laughs> It's then that I realized if I would have played professional baseball, I wouldn't be right here speaking to you right now. The new goals and opportunities aren't the same, but they're just as exciting and they can be for you too. Because happy people aren't people without problems. Those kind of people don't exist. Happy people are people that count their many blessings even during bad times, and they set their goals and dreams to new situations. Every day I live now is a miracle, and it can be for you too. Even when doors close, life can still be awesome. You can start a new business or work on new ideas. You can learn a new skill. You have to let old dreams go and form new dreams. Tragedy can take you to places you never thought possible. Be happy with your success. Your success and happiness is limitless. Every time I look in the mirror, I see a half a man that has become twice the man because of the odds stacked against me. This has made all the difference. You see a guy that can't walk very well. I see a guy that celebrates every step. You see a guy with disabilities. I see a guy who chooses to overcome. You see a picture book. I see my own Morse code. 
Every step I take forward and every step you take forward is worth celebrating. Take it from a guy with only one eye and half a brain. The future still looks amazing. <laughs>